guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 21 and 22 of Love Tune Boy on Other Delusions. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 and 3, 2, 1, go. Thank God I was able to figure this out last night on Neon because, oh, well, not really not on Neon. You told it because your girl would have had a big behind problem ever since the situation about K anime getting killed last week. <laughs> Well, mm. <laughs> really, Sonic. I wish we had, I mean, last week's episodes, we kind of got to see them do ish while, you know, they were gone. But still, this episode should have been a context of everybody, what the heck they were doing, Cuban and Sane doing some ish together, hanging out, being friends ish. I, it would have been nice. <laughs> I always crack up at that scene, the little moment. She just falls. She's like, oh, you poor baby. You tried. But it would have been nice to just see an episode, like a whole one episode, maybe even two, just to context, see what the other two were doing while everybody else was on their trip. But no, you just gave me like, a like you gave me crumbs. I ain't mad about that, but I would have liked a full course meal. Thank you very much. I'm just saying, because crumbs ain't going to fade me. A full course meal will fade me. I know. Too pretty though. Her voice is familiar, right? Mean. No, she was just taking pictures. <laughs> We're going the Yuri route of this? I mean, you know what? I'm not mad about that. <laughs> As someone who supports same sex marriage, I'm okay with that. You know who she kind of sounds like to me? Um, Mommy from Madoka. A.K.A. What's Your Face from Bakay Madagasari, which I still can't believe that shit.
Wait! <laughs> she yeah, I know. She's the real thing. That woman right there is clearly a fake. Right. Which is No, I want french fries. No. <laughs> you cute. Jesus. There you go. Exactly. Please don't. <laughs> But you know, Sana, in your heart, this isn't right. Keep me going to do some talk.
It has to be. Am I right? Yeah. Well, there's nothing else Shinka can do, right, Yuta? What else can she do as of right now? Mm -hmm. You know, she's probably not, but she has to be. But this fake older sister, Ada Ada, I mean, come on now. It's Okay, what's up? Well, yeah, because she took all them pictures. I mean, it's the, clearly that Miss Ada Ada is in love, obsessed with her. Maybe she secretly wants a little sister. Maybe she's Kokola from um, Is the Order a Rabbit? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it happened. That too. I mean, that's why she looked back at you while you were walking away. And she's still wondering why you're not, you know, fighting with her. But this is the only way, Shinka. I mean, honestly, you kind of really miss Sane bothering you and everything, right? I mean, come on now. You don't want Miss Ada Ada to, like, literally take her away from you. Nothing. Yeah. You tell God, you know I just want to hear that Lelouch Ren Joker voice. Mm, Even though I hear it now. <laughs> of course, so. Because that's the only one. That is who you have to go. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, like a Disney princess. <laughs> Here comes the Yuri. Sakura chick in a nutshell with the letter. It's like, no, I'm not in love with you, but I kind of love you. <laughs> Did she just bite her ear? You got this! See, now I feel like I'm watching Car 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 Yeah, she is one of those. Mm -hmm. I honestly would have thought Dekamati would have came in the middle and be like, stop this.
I mean, we all knew that, though. Yeah, already. The, the, yeah, they they kiss. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if I had not watched the OVA? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we know. They're so cute. No matter what, I still ship the crap out of them because they're just too cute for each other. And honestly, they're perfect for each other. I mean, just like I said, imagine if I did not watch the Christmas OVA episode and we got to this episode and seeing, I would have been like, hold on, wait, these two kids? Like, wait, what? And then I would have had to watch the OVA episode. I Originally, what I was going to do was wait until I was done with the show and watch the OVAs together just to get that context for both episodes to see what would happen but I was like mm, no fuck it I was like watch the OVA with this episode and then so on and so forth before um with this last episode that I'm going to do when the show ends and then watch the movie and much like that but this episode was sweet it's just the relationship of Shinka and Sane is a very interesting one they're funny at times, even though, yes, they can't agree to disagree. They fight way too much, but that's one of the many reasons why I love them so freaking much. And they're just so freaking cute together. So even if there was no one else in the world but these two and everyone else was together with someone else, they'd still be together. I bet you it's canon. Come on now. I mean, there's going to be a point in time when they're probably older than college and... Dekomati has like gotten over her ish and she's a normal girl and ish like that. Maybe they would have dated. They just look so cute together. I'm sorry. Like, come on now. You you can't deny that they look cute together. I mean, you just the way that they just typically argue, they just remind me of almost every other couple I've seen in anime where like first they have no feelings for each other or like they just like really hidden deep, deep, deep down inside themselves and they're just like, Yeah, like no. I don't like him like that or I don't like her like that and then slowly but surely they finally realize that they are meant for each other because they're the only two who can tolerate each other so I mean come on just it, it happened even if it doesn't happen by the end of the series because I have like a couple more episodes to go before the end of this series going on into season two I mean not season two the movie um but yeah that's all I really have to say about this episode the girl, the the fake <laughs> Mori Summer, she was interesting. She does give me a lot of, like, specifically her voice. Like, if that is not Mommy, and I think I might end up looking up who voiced her, like, probably after I'm done recording this and working, and while everything is editing, I don't really know. I might even forget, but maybe somebody will tell me, maybe not. I'll just find out whenever I have the time, but yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 22. Okay, episode 22 in 3, 2, 1, go. You would just start like that and, okay. Maybe Soph wants to talk to you again. Maybe.
Oh. Mm, Summer time. But then hold up. If she's losing her power, you want to tell me by the movie she's going to be a completely normal girl and nothing's going to happen? Mm -mm, I'm calling BS on that. So, <laughs> oh, really? This is just a working episode in a nutshell. Hmm? Wait, hold on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, I said her sister. Because <laughs> it is. It's been a while since we last saw her. And it would make sense for her to come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Corey. 
is. I mean, come on. Who would hit you with that ladle? Mm hmm. <laughs> well, but she is a good cook. Yeah. Excuse me? Hold up. You. Oh, God. No. I don't think I could laugh at that either. children. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is planned. <laughs> this music, oh my God. Oh, poor baby, she tried. <laughs> you want some cream for your bump? <laughs> oh. She's so cute, oh my god. Oh. 
A little too close. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> okay, you know, Shinpei, you're setting your bar a little too high. How about you come down here with the rest of us? I'm just saying. You up here? Come here.
nothing but you, though. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Um, Oh my god. <laughs> But she can. She's the only one. Both of them, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that is. She's still in love with them. That just like awoken her desires to them. But I don't want it to be four episodes of these two fighting for four episodes. I mean, come on, we got technically three episodes, then the OVA, then the movie. And so I don't want it to be for the last three episodes of season two, plus the OVA and the movie of. Soph and Rika going at it constantly. I think that'll be a little annoying to me. And plus, I don't want it to be stretched out. I just, the relationship is Yuta and Rika at the end of the day. That is the canon ish of this show. Let them be together. 
That's all I need. I just want them to hang out more in these last three offices. That's all. But like, ooh. The fact that Soph is, her feelings for him are coming back, it is going to make these next few episodes a little bit more complicated because, of course, she is a main character as well, and she's going to be pushed into the, like, situation and a little bit of relationship. Even, like, seeing her imagine her and Yuta being together. That was sweet, even though my heart is like, no, break a Yuta. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, mm. It's kind of how, like, oh, God, I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this, too, because he's also in the show. When I, at the time when Kogias was airing, and we were all sitting here watching it, and so I was either, like, who did I shift losers with? I was shifting them with everybody, but, like, it, it was always a hard decision because one minute he looked good with one girl, and then another, and then another girl comes in, and then you're just like, oh my god, but then you're over here with, like, C2, because C2 was best freaking girl, I'm sorry, as much as I loved Colin, and, um, Shirley, that's her name, <laughs> it took me a moment, as much as I loved those two, C2 was the one who was truly there for him, no matter what, even though because of their contract, and it's like that. And, I mean, by the end of the movie, they're technically together. And, you know, your girl's happy about that. I was just, like, the day I watched that movie was the happiest day of my life. But it, it's kind of the same thing with this. I mean, you see two girls who are in love with them. Thank God it's two and it ain't, like, the whole freaking group. Because <laughs> then it'll be way too much. But having both Soph and Rika both in love with him and truly getting their feelings out. But one of them is dating Yuta and the other one is like damn I'm slowly but surely starting to realize my feelings for him again it, it's gonna be a little complicated so I am honestly scared to see how these last few episodes are gonna go especially the OVA it, it literally could go anyway hell I still want to know about what's his face and if he finally tells Cumin how he feels about her because it was honestly weird to, it's been several episodes since he's like officially appeared that you know, he's gonna, like, tell Cuban, and, it, I mean, come on. The last time we saw him, he got in trouble, so, mm. So let him, like, tell Cuban how he truly feels about her. I want Cuban to, like, either have, like, a really nice happy ending where either whether she's in a relationship or she's alone, no matter what, I'll be happy because Cuban is freaking adorable and I love her so much. She deserves the freaking world. She deserves everything. She is, like, that one character from so many live action shows that I have watched that in the end she doesn't get with anyone at the end and I literally hate when the writers will literally have like one or two characters or that one token character whether it be a boy or a girl who does not get with anyone in the end even though they've been with almost every freaking person throughout the freaking season whether it's six seasons or eight seasons and in the end they're like you know what no this character is a strong independent man or woman and we're not gonna have this character get, get with anybody and then you're sitting here and you're like but you want them to get with someone and i'm not saying that cumin needs to be with anyone because cumin is a strong independent girl but still it would be nice for her to be with someone at the end if she isn't i am totally okay with that no matter what in the world they do with her because no matter what i still love her she's one of my favorite characters honestly but seeing tolka like Honestly, I missed her. And, and, like, her manager's daughter was cute as fuck. So I, I hope we get to see her again, whether it's the OV or the movie. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review to his episodes 21 and 22 of Love, Chunabu, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my channel squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 23 and 24. Bye, guys!